Monticello is a small city with pages and pages of history. But some community members say there is one thing in particular that truly makes it their town. If you take a walk down North State Street, you will find nearly 100 homes rooted in history. The neighborhood has a spot on the National Registrar of Historic Districts. People who live there say Monticello's architectural legacy is what adds character to the place, booming business, and the presence of the Allerton family in the early 1900s attracted talented architects wanting to show their craft. Architect Keddy Hudson lives in a North State Street home that has been in his family for three generations. This street is um, it's a tourist magnet and uh, it's a great thing for the community. People picture it as the charming small town that they always imagined they wanted to live in. Hudson says people come from all over for walking tours or even a casual drive down North State Street to witness the beauty. Other official historic districts in Monticello include North Charter Street and the downtown area. What was the old Illinois terminal is now the Monticello Railway Museum. You see railroads, of course, used to be the way people would get from place to place. Today, visitors can experience a train ride and more. WCI3's Sophia Beausoleil has more from the vault in our town, Monticello. All the volunteers out here just have a great love for, for railroading. Behind this door lies the history that led to the foundation of our country. A number of them were donated. The Monticello Railway Museum has dozens of old passenger trains from across Illinois. The organization started in 1966 as a way to preserve the history of trains along with the steam engine. The mechanics of it, the steam engine was what really enabled the railroads to develop this country to spread out and, and go, but then they've been replaced with diesel electrics. People can tour those electric trains and really view something that is so appealing to the eye that it seems like something from a movie set. These are rooms for one individual. They also had a toilet and a sink in there. This sleeping cart was built before World War II. During long commutes, this is where people would stay and even where they would dine. A couple steps more and you're in what was the post office of their time. It's like the packages in the express. This, this was the way everybody got their mail. And lots of places got mail twice a day. There's a treasure in the train that hits close to home and is very personal to the area. The first soldier from Monticello that was killed in World War I, this is the shipping containers that they shipped the caskets. With so many artifacts, the rich history, and amazing atmosphere, it's no wonder the Monticello Railway Museum is a must-see. Now, Christmas season is popular for the museum as they bring the movie The Polar Express to life with their passenger trains. But you need to book early as it sells out each year. The pandemic has canceled quite a few summer events at Allerton Park, but one community favorite is still set to continue virtually. The annual Allerton Park Concert Series usually brings hundreds of people together for live music. The staff says the show must go on. They have modified this year's event to comply with social distancing guidelines. This year's highlighted musician is Champagne native Victor Krauss. Instead of performing in person, he'll be playing from his home in Nashville. The music will be broadcast on WILL Radio. It'll be on June 20th for the Summer Solstice Concert Cruise. Celebrating that, you know, the longest day of the year and maybe watching the sunset as you listen to his beautiful music and um, maybe take a drive through Allerton. Now you are welcome to walk or drive the park trails while tuning in. It starts at 7 and ends at 9 p.m. Well, everybody around this area in Monticello and everything, call it, the nickname is Abe. While he can tell you a lot about Abraham Lincoln, he's not a historian, but the 16th president has been a part of his life for more than three decades. You can find him and his massive collection of Lincoln memorabilia in our town, Monticello. WCI3's Paul Cicchini has more. It started when I was three years old. Um, we got a free trial book in the mail. The book was the life of Abraham Lincoln, and it changed the course of Christopher Cody Bance's life. Then later on that fall, um, my mom, grandmother, and my uncle took me to New Salem, um, pretty much to Springfield to New Salem, to this tomb, um, the house, and there's a little gift shop right across from the house, down in the basement of a two-story house. 
and he bought me a little tiny bust and told me I need to start collecting it. That's not all. Cody Vance embodied Lincoln as a child at least once a year, dressing up as the former president for Halloween from the time he was four until he was 12. Now, known as Abe around Monticello, Cody Vance gives presentations with his Lincoln collection. I counted um, the night of the dinner and stuff, and I'm over 5,000. I got anywhere from magnets to pictures, as you can see right behind me, um, Lincoln bust, um, plates to Lincoln flags. Um, I have pictures made out of pennies to thimble, thimbles, um, videos, um, records of stories about Abraham Lincoln. But he says that collection isn't complete. My goal one day, um, and I pretty much have to win a lottery for this, <laughs> is to uh, have something that was Lincoln's personal, even if it's just a little tiny handwritten note.